Edwards. No ifs and or buts. I want that meadow fenced in by tomorrow. That means we'll have to work the men all through the night, Your Lordship. How it gets done is not my concern. It's yours. Just see it gets done. And see it's done properly. I'll not tolerate slipshod work. Yes, Your Lordship. Boon. My dear sir. Pleasure to see you. Almost impossible to get a decent day's work out of servants these days. Why don't you pay them wages? Might help. They're fed, housed, and clothed. And in ten years, if they work hard, they're free men. And your father teach you to speak only when spoken to? I brought him up to speak when he had something to say. And the furs I promised you. Good. I could use some pelts for my floss. Well, uh, spread them out. Let's have a look. Well, the Lord and Master cares more about them animal skins than he does about ours. Want a drink, Blue? Have all you want. All you gotta do is just say please. Ah, come on, it ain't that hard to say please. Oh, you're a real hard case. You just do without. Well, I'd love to take a skin and knife to that hide of his. I'd do a right proper job on him, that's for certain. Donker, if you keep your mouth shut, we'll get your back flayed wide open. Well, it won't be the first time. I got a feeling it'll be the last. The next time we cut you down, we'll bury you. If I could take you with me, it'd be worth it. Well, you're not going to take me with you, because you're not going to get the chance. I get back to work. piece of fur. I've never seen one better. I want it. Uh, this one's not for sale. Nonsense. Everything has its price. Name it and I'll pay it. It's a gift for my wife. A gift? My dear fellow, I'm offering to pay you any price you name. Uh, still not for sale now. If you're interested in these skins, we can do some business. Your wife must be quite a woman. All right. I'll have to settle for what I can get. Docker. Get over and take care of those horses. Hey, Barnes. Can I have a drink of water? Please.
All right, young fella, just stand put. The others get here. Yo! Go ahead. Kill me and get it over with. Hold the bounder. Keep your eye on him, Edwards. What'll happen to him? You spend three days in those stocks, tin of water a day, then you'll get 20 lashes with a cat, but it won't change him. Never has. Then why do it? Because it's the law, that's why. Well, it's not a good law. If you got him back, he didn't hurt anybody. It's rather harsh punishment. He belongs to me. I'll do what I like with him, Boone. I don't understand why you're so concerned over the likes of him. He's been nothing but trouble since I bought him out of prison. How long was he in prison? He was born in prison. There are no records on his birth. I bought him and brought him over here as a farmhand three years ago. How can he be born in prison? His mother was a woman of the streets. She gave birth to him, died soon after. No one came to claim him, so the other women inmates raised him. So he's been behind bars all those years until you bought him out. And a good thing, too. He's a complete incorrigible. Solitary confinement, floggings, Nothing has served to make him docile. He's still a wild animal. Well, and with good reason. He hasn't drawn a free breath since the day he was born. And he never will. He'll die in chains and we'll all be the better for it. Brothers, will you sell him to me? Sell him to you? May I ask why you want him? I have my own reasons. Will you sell him? I don't need money, Boone, but, uh, as I was saying, this, uh, this bear skin, beautiful piece of fur. It's yours. Edwards? Release Blue, bring him over here. I'm a hard man, Boone, but I like to think I'm a fair one. You're getting the worst of this trade. I'm satisfied. Because you don't know what you've let yourself in for. I do. And I say you'll regret this decision. We'll see. Lou, I've sold you to Boone here. So what he wants with the likes of you, I can't understand. However, I warn you, if you make one mistake, he'll ship you back here. And I promise you, you'll spend the rest of your life in chains. Give me the key. There you are, Boone. He's yours now, and I wish you good luck with him. What are you doing? As you said, he belongs to me now. I'm Israel Boone. Let's go home now. <laughs> Jamie, you better have another one of these biscuits. They're a little thin around the edges, but they go pretty good with this turkey grease. Why do you taste my mom's cooking? Well, she makes the best biscuits in the whole world. Israel's right. Cooking never has been one of my long suits. You just haven't lived until you've had one of Becky's meals. Sometimes you think you've just died and gone to heaven. Well, apple pies are specialty. Wait, maybe she'll make some this Sunday dinner. Mmm. Mm. Well. Let's get our bedrolls and turn in. What is it, 
Paul? No. I've even looking forward to taking a bath. <laughs> yeah, five days of skin and hides and sleeping on the ground makes a little man hard to stand next to sometimes. Hey, Paul! Jamie's running off. No. Weren't you going after him? Nope. He might get away. I don't think so. You're heading in the wrong direction, my friend. Stretching his legs a bit. Gabe, care for a hot biscuit? Israel? Hi, Gabe. You knew that Gabe was coming up on the camp all the time, didn't you? Well, Jamie had a chance to run off, he'd catch him. He didn't take much catching. He moves about as quiet as a fallen tree. And Gabe, this is uh, Jamie Blue. He's going to be staying with us for a spell. Glad to know you, Blue. have a lot in these parts. Should I brighten up the fire? Go ahead, son. And there's a uh, bear, wolves, wild boar. Man should know the forest before he takes off on his own. He's got to learn to read the rivers, quicksand, and rapids. Yeah, the land out here doesn't give you a second chance if you uh, make a mistake. Man can learn not to make a mistake, can he? If he takes his time, has patience. I've had a lot of time to learn patience. My pa can teach you like he teaches me. He's the best woodsman and trapper in these parts. Uh, this is Jamie Blue. Jamie, this is Mrs. Boone. Jamie, it's it's nice to meet you. He's going to be staying with us, Ma. Oh? Oh, I guess I better fix some food. You all must be hungry. I can eat a bear. Gabe, while uh, Becky's cooking up that bear, why don't you show Jamie where he's going to be sleeping? This way, Fred. Got a good tight roof. It keeps out the rain and the cold. I've been where you have, Blue. Maybe in a mite deeper. But that's behind now. Forget it. Start fresh. This is a good family that's taking you in. And I don't want to see any harm come to them. You think I'd harm him? I'm just saying act like normal folks. There should be no trouble. How do normal folks act? Stick around. You'll find out. <laughs>
Daniel tell me you just naturally belong in the woods. And he ain't want to give our praises so easy like. I got a long way to go yet. Still plan to run away? Gabe, were you born a slave? No, I was born free. And I never forgot what it was like. Well, the first thing I remember is walls. High, dirty, gray walls all around me, always shutting me in. Well, nobody's going to shut me in again. Say, how'd you like to go down to the Selman store with me after we finish up here? Nothing I need. All you own is what you wear. That's enough. Be glad to give you a loan to Daniel give you your wages. Why would you loan me money? Because I want to. That's a favor, isn't it? You might say that. Well, favors have to be paid back. The less I accept, the less I have to pay back. Paul, come out here quick! It's real bad trouble! I found him by the metal. Look at those terrible cuts. Claw marks, mountain lion. Almost got him. Until I have a fever. What can we do for him, Pa? From the looks of those claw marks, Israel, I'll say he won't last through the night. Oh, no. Horses are in such short supply. I agree with you, Gabe. He might not make it through the night. Oh, Dan. Well, we may have to destroy him, Becky. Why let him suffer? Because he's got a right to fight for his life. We can always kill him. Do you know anything about horses? Some. Carruthers, let me take care of them once in a while. Be a waste of time. Let Jamie drive, Pa, please. All right, see what you can do. Can I help? Go ahead, son. Better to keep him on his feet to keep his insides warm. You should know a lot about horses. I like them. I like being around them. More than people? More than people. I'm hot. They should have something to eat and some rest. Oh, they'll know when to stop. <sighs> Did you see those scars on his back? Yeah, they're all behind him now, though. What is it? Can he ever forget his past? Forget the things he saw and the things that were done to him like those scars? Well, he's not going to forget them. There's still hope for him. Why do you say that? Well, for what he's doing, he, he doesn't have to do that. He's doing it because he wants to. Because he cares like Israel. Yeah, like Israel. I hope you're right. I want you to be right. <laughs> It's the worst part now. We gotta make sure that he stays on his feet. What would happen if he goes down? He won't get up. Come on. Well, you should have seen all the water he drank a little while ago. 
He's gonna be fine. Just a few scars is all. That won't slow him down any. Well, anybody who worked as hard to save this animal as you did deserves to have him. I what? You got yourself a horse. How do you like that? Why would you give him to me? Well, because you've earned him and because we want you to have him. Those are two pretty good reasons. Don't ask any more questions. Just take him. First thing that's ever belonged to me. About half hour ago. Tracks are still fresh from where they dug in. Where are they heading? This time of day, probably down in the river to get a drink. If you needed me, how would you track them? Stay downwind of them. Find the highest ground and only down the oldest one. Not much more you can teach him, Daniel. How would I defend against hostiles? Well, there's some things we can show you, but mostly it just takes a clear head and a little courage. You figure you got some of both. I still want to learn. Then what happens with you? Oh, then I can get all the things I've been dreaming about having all my life. There's nothing wrong with that. It just depends on how you get them. I'll worry about that when the time comes. Think about it now. You got to live by the rules. Why? I live by the rules that people forced on me all my life. Now I can take care of myself. Make up my own rules. Well, if you want to get along with folks, Blue, you got to depend on them, and then they'll depend on you. I just want them to leave me alone. Well, it doesn't work that way. It's something nobody can teach you. You'll just have to learn that for yourself. When are you going to teach me about hostels? Right. He'll let you know when. Quite a spell. Uh, well, I'll be ready in just a minute. You're even more beautiful than the first time I saw you. Oh, Nick. Oh, I kind of like you. Oh, I've been looking forward to this party for so long. Well, so is the whole settlement. It happens once a year. Just a minute, young man. Let's have a look at you. Hmm. That's pretty good. Now, do you think you can stay that way for at least 20 minutes? That's for a miracle. I'll settle for half of that. Can I go now? Where are you going? Go see if Jamie's ready. Did he say he was going? No, but why wouldn't he? There's a lot of food and games. He can dance with the girl if he wants to. I don't see why I'd want to, though. <laughs> Change your mind about that in a few years. Can I go? Go ahead. Dan, do you think Jamie will go? <sighs> he hasn't been too sociable lately. Well, he doesn't know anyone but us. He hasn't taken the time to know anybody. Maybe shy. No, not Jamie Blue. He doesn't want anybody edging into his life. I hope you're wrong. But I'll be ready in just a minute. And spending a lot of time with your horse. Looks great. Ready to go? Go where? The party. It's tonight. I'm not going. You just gotta go. Why? Because I was counting on you. What did I tell you about counting on me for anything? You told me not to. That still holds. Yeah, but we could have a lot of fun together, you and me. Why don't you want to be friends, Jamie? There are no friends. Only people that use you are people that you use. You don't depend on anybody. You don't trust anybody. That way, nobody can hurt you. I don't believe that. I believe it because I grew up with it all my life. I never saw any different. You see this? This is the only friend I have, and it's all I need to get what I want. Now you understand how I feel about you? Guess so.
Sure glad I'm not you, Jamie Blue. Supper with the rest, Daniel Boone? If I don't starve first. Here, this will hold you until dinner. Having fun? Yes. All get togethers like this are nice. I wish I could say the same for Israel. For days, all he's talked about is this party. And now look at him. Did he tell you why Jamie isn't here? Didn't want to talk about it. I guess I better go talk to him. You stay here, let him work it out. It's his problem. We are not in the game. Stupid old game, match boy. Trying to bite a jar of pulled apples at the end of a string. Yeah, I guess so. I found a bullfrog this morning. Got it in the wagon. So? Sarah brought her lunch basket, the one with the lid on it. Boy, she let out a holler. She opened it. I'll get the frog. Nah, wouldn't be much fun anyhow. Are you sure you're not sick, Israel? Can I can show you around. Got nothing else to do. Why not? All right, everybody stand back. Give me plenty of hitting room. Only thing you're going to hit is your rump on a backswing. Or a pumpkin head if you stand too close to me. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> Move. Glad you could make it. Israel, keep your eye on an expert. And we swing. Poor <laughs> little O'Neill. You know, somebody jostles that log every time I take a swing at it. Here, you seem to know so dad blame much about it. Take a whack at it. Oh, I don't know if I can. Go on, go on. Let's see how you mangle that nail. All right, I'll try. Just keep your eye on the nail. Oh. Is that what you mean? Huh? Gabe, there's a trick. I don't know how you've done it, Gabe, but there is a trick. Yeah, let's go over here. Hi, Israel. Hi. Can you introduce me to your friend? Sure. Jane Kelly, Kelly Jane. Hi. Hi. Are you living with the Boones? Yeah. So you're the one. Everyone in the settlement's been talking about you. Oh, really? Do you plan to stay here in Boonesboro? No. Hmm, that's too bad. You the fellow Boone traded the bear skin for? Walt. Just asking. Yeah, I'm the fellow. Prime fur. Best ball I've ever caught. I'll bet it was. Move aside here, folks. Let me show you folks how it's done. <laughs> Want to try? I don't play games.
I wouldn't play games either if I knew I'd lose. Don't be too sure about that. Not with him. Walt, would you please get me a glass of punch? Sure. Wait here. Be right there. Hello again. Join the party? I suppose so. Suppose so. Don't you know? I never thought about it much. Maybe you haven't met the right person to enjoy it with. You certainly don't talk very much, do you? What am I supposed to say? Things a young man might tell a young lady. Like what? Things she might like to hear. Well, if you don't know, I see no point in discussing it. I'm sorry I bothered you, Mr. Blue. Uh, please. Look, uh, I don't know the right things to say because I never had a chance to learn them. Oh, I forgot. You were raised in a prison. You never... I'm sorry. I had no right to say that. Why not? It's true. Besides, you're the first girl my age I've ever talked to. I didn't know. So words don't come easy. But I like being with you. You say things like that. You won't have trouble getting along with any girl. The words, would you like to dance, are also nice to hear. Well, I don't know how. Everyone had to learn sometime. Come on, I'll show you. Yes. Got a good teacher. Enjoying yourself now? Now I am. So am I. Remember me? I'm the one who brought you here. I remember. I don't like to be made the fool, Kelly. I was only teaching him how to dance. Well, you're finished now. Walt, you're hurting me. And you stay clear of me or I'll bust you good. <laughs> and a cracked rib is all. Oh, thank goodness for that. It could have been a lot worse. What happened with him now, Daniel? Well, now, my advice, for what it's worth, is to ship him back to Carruthers the first thing in the morning. You know what'll happen to him if Dan does that? I know, but let's face it, Ben. This man is like a half tame bear. Well, you never know when his wild meanness is gonna flare up and slash out at anything around him. Daniel, next time you may not be there to pull him off. Well, I've had my say. 
I'll see you in the morning. Well, good night, Susan. Good night, Daniel. Becky? See you, Gabe. Daniel? I hate to think of anyone being like Cincinnati said. Still, something to think about. You're carrying a heavy load, Daniel. There's no one to shift it to. Well, good night. Good night, Gabe. Well, I still haven't heard from you. I wish I knew the answer, the right answer, but I don't. I hate the thought of the boy being sent back into bondage, that kind of life. Yet I keep seeing what he did to Walt. No, the way he did it. Oh, Danny, if he'd hit him in a, a rage of anger, I could find some excuse, some reason. But he was so cold and deliberate. Paul? Oh, you should be asleep, young man. Are you going to send Jimmy to prison? I don't know yet, son. I've done a lot of bad things. The time I set the barn afire, almost burned it down. You punished me good for that, and I deserved it. But you didn't give up on me. So I'll do some other bad things, I'll get some more spankings. But I know you'll never give up on me. Israel, you're our son. You belong to us. That's just it. Jamie doesn't belong to anybody. He doesn't have anybody to tell him if he's right, if he's wrong. Maybe if he did, maybe if you told him, Paul. Good night, son. Let's get back to bed. Good night, Paul. Whatever you decide, we'll know you tried to do the right thing. It's going to be all right. Who started it? Did he? You weren't just fighting Walt, Jamie. You were trying to kill him. It's the only way I know how to fight. Well, it's the wrong way. Look, not where I come from. There, when you get a man down, you make sure he stays down. If you don't, one day you turn your back and he'll come and get you. Well, I wasn't about ready to let that happen. We live by different rules out here. We fight, but only when we have to. When are you going to ship me back to Carruthers? I'm not, Jamie. It's over with. Israel stood up for you, said to give you another chance. Make the most of it. Get out there in the middle. You might get a better shot at him. Ma told me not to get my feet wet. Oh. What are you doing out here? Nothing. Just thought I'd go for a little ride. Oh. Guess I've had enough of fishing. I'm gonna go home. Israel. About last night, your pa told me what you did. Standing up for me. It wasn't anything. It was to me, Israel. Nobody's ever done that for me. I just want you to know that I... Riding sure beats walking, don't it? Come on. 
Seem too glad to see your old buddy, though. How'd you get away? Barnes, our watchdog, remember? He, uh, turned his back on me. I just walked away. Easy as you please. Why'd you come around here? I was looking for you. Why? To help. I need money and supplies. Enough to take me far away from this place. I can't help you. I say you can. Get down off the horse, Blue. Come on. Who's the kid? He stays out of it. Well, listen to this. He ain't like you, Blue. He ain't like you at all, standing up for someone so quick like. He must be important to you. So he's important to me, too. What do you mean? He stays with me, safe and snug, until you get back with what I need. Then you get him back. All right. Go, Angel, go! He was dentured the same as me. An indentured servant killed a guard and ran away from Crowther's place yesterday. Is this him? Most likely. Did he come at you, Jamie? Huh? I figured he did. Well, let's go back and tell the others what happened. I'm going. I'm going from this place. Running, huh? As far and as fast as I can. But why? I got no other choice, that's why. Okay. I'm gonna run and just keep running. I don't read it that way. Just tell the truth. The truth? Look, nobody's gonna believe a thing I say back there. I saw the look on their faces after that fight. The only place they want me is behind bars, and I'm not gonna let that happen. I believe you. So will Daniel and his family. Uh, I can't take that chance. I'm going to go, and I'm going to go right now. Unless you... you want to stop me. You know, Jamie, you got it pretty good around here. But you just won't see it. So you go ahead and run. Run as far as you can. But when you stop, take a good look around you. Because no matter how far you run, you never find friends as good as the one you're turning your back on right now. So you go ahead, Jamie Blue. Run.
back for his horse. All he had to do was come back and tell us the truth. You told him that, didn't you? I told him. Well, why didn't he? He didn't think we'd believe him. We'd believe him? Wouldn't we, Ma? Yes, dear, we'd believe him. You could go catch him, Pa. Bring him back. I could, Israel. But would you want me to? No. Guess it wouldn't be right. At least not that way. He always did want to be by himself. I guess now he can. Wonder where he is by now. Probably a far piece from here. Not too far away. Whoa! Israel, did you always say you're riding beach walking? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.